Welcome to Marketecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews with leading technology vendors. I'm Zach Rogers, editor of Marketecture. I'm talking with Ari Paparo, founder of Marketecture. Hey, Ari. Hey, Zach. How are you doing? Great to be talking with you. So before we jump in, let's catch everyone up on your life for the last couple of years. You <laughs> sold your company, Beeswax, to Comcast. What have you been doing since then? Yeah, so we sold Beeswax to Comcast in early 2021. The management team spent about a year there integrating with the rest of the free will business, getting into a good place, getting it stable. And then early in 2022, I left there and I've been starting a number of entrepreneurial ventures. Marketecture is the first one to leave the gate and I'm really excited about it. Yeah, that's great. Now, how did you come up with this idea to found Marketecture? What's the original concept there? Yeah. So like a lot of people out there, I started thinking about doing a podcast or a sub stack and uh, using some of my ad tech expertise to to get the get some of my opinions out there and also, you know, potentially make a little money. And I felt like that was just pretty limiting. Uh, it wasn't something I was really passionate about. I'm more of a product builder. Uh, and I came up with this idea. I said, well, what if I harness the expertise of a bunch of different people, not just myself, but other experts in this field, people like Eric Sufert, who is probably the most well-known mobile marketing expert and Mike Shields, who's a really well-known connected TV expert, and you, Zach, you know, as a you know well-known, well-regarded editorial lead in uh, in this world, and brought us all together to sort of create a different kind of media company where it was incredibly valuable, hopefully, to the readers and listeners, and was certainly worth paying for because it helps with your day-to-day -day job. All right, terrific. Maybe we could talk for just a minute about like what is architecture, what's our core product, and how is the audience potentially going to use this? Sure. Marketecture, primarily, in, in, as we launch, is comprised of 45-minute or so in-depth vendor interviews conducted by experts like myself. So what I, I, I've been doing at Tech for almost 20 years, and typically, if you're interested in getting a new vendor onboarded, let's call it a clean room or a, you know even an ad network for that matter, you need to do research on that product. You need to have a meeting you may have 10 members of your team at the meeting. It's very expensive and time-consuming to just get the basic information about what does the company actually do and how can I use it. Marketecture solves that problem. I effectively do that meeting for you. And in 45 minutes, or if you want to watch a one and a half speed, it could only be, uh, you know, 27 and a half minutes. Um, you could get all the basic information you would get from a first meeting with a vendor and make a smarter choice about where to spend your time learning. And it's the same with the other experts. So we're bringing together vendors who are doing interesting things in the in the marketplace, along with experts who can really interrogate them to understand how, what, why, when, where of their offerings. Yeah, great. Now, so I want to talk for a minute about the template we're using for these interviews, because while we have experts who are sort of authoritative and will ask their own questions to drill down on a vendor, we do want to make sure that the interviews are fairly templated in the sense that folks can compare feature sets and understand what's similar and different about the different vendors that they may want to evaluate for partnership. So what are the lines of questioning we're going to ask folks in these interviews? Yeah, we thought about what people really would want to know. And the bulk of the interview is about the product. What does the product do? Who's it sold to? What are the, what's the pricing model? And roughly what's the pricing level? So you get a good sense about whether you as a, as a purchaser of a technology are, are the right fit for a particular vendor. We ask some more in-depth questions about the types of customers and their use cases. How much effort it takes to onboard uh, is a good question to, to delve into. What background about the company is relevant in terms of its size? Is it public, private? How many employees? That gives a sense on sort of the stability and, and stage of the company. And while we're at it, we throw in a couple of fun questions to get people thinking on top of their feet. So you'll have to watch some of the videos to see. So there are other companies out there, vendor review websites and so forth, that purport to do part of what we're offering here. How is architecture different? Sure. So if you Google a vendor you're interested in working with, you'll probably find some sites that say, the you know, uh, reviews of vendor X, et cetera. First of all, the, the coverage in advertising and marketing, which is where we're starting coverage, is pretty light. You really won't find that information, a whole bunch of vendors that you might be interested in on the, you know, the so-called Lumascape. Those vendors are often not being profiled by these review sites. Um, secondly, the review sites are almost always pay to play, which means that the vendors are being are paying the review site to get those pages spun up and made look nice and get the best reviews on those sites, which makes it really questionable about whether you're getting the whole truth. 
And then finally, the reviews are often by individual users who may have very different kind of use cases than what you and your company may have. Uh, they're not broad based. They're they're effectively, you know, some customer who got a $25 or $50 Amazon gift certificate to videotape themselves for five minutes talking about how great this vendor is. It's just not very useful. We're trying to be useful. And that's where our motto is get smart fast. We want people to watch our videos and, or listen to our podcasts and get much smarter about the options out there in a very short amount of time. And what about the uh, business model? Could you talk a little bit more about how we are making money and what we hope to grow here? Right. So, the business model, like Consumer Reports or like other, you know, well-respected review sites, is a paid business model. So we believe that we're adding an enormous amount of value and we're asking our members to pay for the content. So every piece of content is available for a subscription price as an a la carte purchase. So if you just want a single video, you could purchase it for a more reasonable price. And short clips, ranging from about seven to ten minutes, are available for free to anyone with a membership. So if you want to experience Mark Sector, you can sign up and access all of the abbreviated clips as well as through your favorite podcast player. And in terms of our coverage, you're, you know, you're an ad tech guy. Is architecture going to remain focused on ad tech and marketing tech long term? No, we expect uh, architecture to be applicable to really any technology sector. It could go as far afield as cloud security. It could, um, we can help with all kinds of technologies. We're actually recruiting experts. So if you happen to be listening to this and you want to raise your hand as an expert, you know, we'd love to talk to you. Hit the contact button. But we, we expect to expand, you know, really even over the short term to new categories and our members will get the benefit of additional content. So once people subscribe, uh, or if they don't subscribe as paying members, but just become, you know, non-paying members, what are the ways they can access our stuff? Sure. So there are effectively two different ways to access the content. One is markitecture.tv. The website will always have the latest content. The second is uh, a free podcast available on all the major podcast players that you can keep up. If you upgrade to a paid membership, it's the same methods, but it's a special podcast stream that only avail is only available to our paid members. Also, we'll have a weekly email with the latest content, so you'll never uh, miss out on any new information that's coming your way. And if someone works for a vendor, they want to be evaluated by architecture, what should they do? How should they reach out? Sure. Um, if you're interested in being interviewed, um, use our contact form. Tell us about your company if it's not obvious. And we have a strong preference to interview CEOs, so keep that in mind. Great. Well, I'm excited to be working with you. Ari, anything else you want to mention? Well, we're all really open for feedback. Um, I'm available on Twitter. Everyone knows me on Twitter. But like I've said a couple of times in this call, hit the contact button. Let us know what you think. Let us know uh, what you'd like to see from our site, as well as any feedback you have on the content that's out there. And before we go, I want to ask you one question that appears in the template for almost all of our videos, which is, if architecture were an animal, Ari, what animal would it be? Tough question. You know, people keep saying eagle and tiger, which are just a bit on the nose. I think architecture would be a raccoon because raccoons are smart. They have thumbs, which I do. And they, they, uh, they find the good stuff. They, they, whether it's in a trash can or in Mother Nature, they could find all the good information, the good stuff there. And they, they're also in packs, just like our, I've assembled a, a group of experts. The raccoons travel in little family, bro I think they call them broods. So definitely raccoons. And they also pick apart the sometimes not so pretty things. And so uh, I will note, some people have said honey badger, like more than one person, which was surprising mm. to me. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to do a visualization where we show what everyone's chosen. Is there Absolutely. Animal? It's going to be our first uh, infographic. Right on. All right. Thanks, Harry. Thank you. Thanks for listening. New interviews are added every week at markitecture.tv and your favorite podcasting app.